y'all doing? All right, so this is gonna be for November the 22nd to the 23rd. I'm doing this for two days. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. Um, I am doing this so I can take a break. Um, I do need a break. So I'm gonna be giving you guys a two-day read Thursday and Friday of this week. This is for November 23rd to the 20, November 22nd to the 23rd. This is for my air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Let's see what messages we have. And thank you guys for all of your well wishes. Um, I am feeling a little bit better. I am drained. Like I said, I have been doing the yearly reads, and that takes a lot of energy out of me because I'm literally going through each year for, I mean, each month of 2019 for multiple people. <laughs> so let's see what messages we have for my air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Messages for my air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rises, and Venus, November 22nd and November 23rd of 2018. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, November 22nd through November 23rd, 2018. For those of you that are asking, like, what's wrong with me, I'm going to be real with you. I believe I'm just going through a shift. I don't really have any, you know, actual disease or you know and i say disease meaning me my body being at a disease the only thing i have is physical discomfort um and mental discomfort that's it so there i believe there are some shifts that are happening i'm not really too much worried about it um i'm not pregnant for those of you that keep asking me am i pregnant I'm not pregnant y'all excuse this little bun at the top of my head um but yeah i'm fine <laughs> i'm a-okay um i just my body has to recover so that's pretty much it. I get drained. You know, we're readers. We get drained. All right. So speaking of recovery, air signs, tower, sudden shifts. And my, my rising is Gemini, so that makes sense. Um, this could be some shifts. She could be thrown off balance. Holiday time. This could be some, this could be as simple as, you know, y'all know when we get around our family, it'd be some bull. So, you know, it could be some bull around Thanksgiving. May have to deal with some things. Oh, oh, wait a minute. What do we got going on? All right, so there could be a shift within a relationship, a shift within a connection. Someone needs to be making a decision. There's some enlightenment. Somebody just got slapped in the face with something. Okay. All right, so <laughs> let's see why this lover's card is here. Okay. We got the lovers here. It could be Gemini energy right here. Um, confused somebody confused why they still single like why am i still single like what's going on why why am i not connected so somebody's like why am i not connected right now <laughs> others of you someone around you is confused by your actions okay so we do have the gemini here y'all front and center uh lover's card here confusion heartbroken about a connection queen of wands someone may be putting an end to something moving forward uh-huh eight of cups reevaluating a decision someone's walked away they've chosen themselves um so this may be the shift balancing their emotions moving forward someone has specifically chosen themselves for others of you this is someone ending a relationship to go toward um someone else or someone that is lighting their fire so with the nine of pentacles you may see this person as someone mm, mm. so someone's gaining hell no Someone's gaining their independence from a relationship because I got 10 pentacles here. Um, judgment, moon card, releasing fears, moving toward. Queen of Wands, not of, of pentacles. This could be moving toward a single woman, moving toward a single entity, a single person. Um, with the moon card, this could be Piscean energy, Cancerian energy, um, Gemini, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. This could be a fire sign. But regardless, this person is very much within their own their own foundation so either in the past you've realized that you need to be this person taking on this nine of pentacles being confident about your foundation or you're moving toward making a decision to end whatever's not making you feel like this and move toward that so someone's maybe looking for some fire in their life all right so we got the seven of cups and the crowning energy this does represent confusion maybe someone needs to stop procrastinating a lot of confusion somebody these are two people that are being thrown for a loop whether you're getting thrown into something or out of something as I, I got two people falling from this tower period two people falling from the tower maybe something took too long so somebody jumped ship i'm not sure seven of cups here why is the seven of cups here 
forgot to get it over the stool. <laughs> Okay, so someone finding the strength to move forward, no longer procrastinating. Yeah, someone has an enlightenment that they need to make adjustments toward a connection or someone's made an adjustment to release whatever fears they have. This could be dealing with a Capricorn. There be, could be some com confusion around um, a Capricorn. This is just fear. Someone's finding the fear to move past these illusions, move past this this. I don't think this has anything to do with Capricorn. I think the devil energy in this particular... I mean, it could be because it did pop up. This is a zodiac sign that popped up. But I think this is more about re releasing the fears and the illusions around a situation and seeing the situation clearly. The tower card, this can represent enlightenment. I got it twice. And this particular tower is someone... Y'all still ain't painting my nails. Oh, well. Um, this particular tower is someone gaining some type of enlightenment. As y'all see, there's an eye the beginning of this tower or on this tower there is an eye i'm going to get my nails done today so i cannot feel self-conscious about putting my hand in front of this camera <laughs> y'all know how i am about my hands like um this three of wands here this is in your subconscious so you could be trying to manifest something manifest something to shift manifest something to happen um looking out to the universe about a decision so there's a decision that needs to be made. I got seven here um, in regards to passion and love. Someone has been procrastinating, making adjustments to get to that. But with this head over heart decision here, someone is choosing their heart. They're ending the mental anxiety here. This is 10 swords. So somebody's ending the mental anxiety. They're going back and forth within a connection and they're moving in a new direction. Hopefully toward happiness. So let's see what you're manifesting. Three of wands here. Why is this three of wands here? This is, mm, manifesting truth. Um, clarity. There's a lot of anxiety here. Ten swords. So you're removing the anxiety. Regardless, you're removing the anxiety. You're looking out to the universe and how to manifest something. That's why you're removing the anxiety. You're aware that it's just your head that's keeping you locked in a situation. So you're seeing something from a new perspective. Gaining control with this emperor under here. Gaining control of the situation and kind of taking a leap forward. Some of you guys, there may have been an opportunity that you didn't see. Now you see. Why is this four of cups here? Some of you guys are depressed right now. There's some depression here. Why is this... Hmm. Aquarian energy here, emperor energy. Mm. So if not, ooh, if not depression, if not depression, so I did see the seven of swords here. Someone's reevaluating an opportunity that they feel like they miss. Someone feels like they missed an opportunity. So now they're trying to manifest a relationship to be closer. Someone, star energy, six of wands could have moved forward. Um, you could hope to move forward. You could hope to move forward with this manifestation. But you, you feel like, Maybe you missed an opportunity. So that's why you're moving quickly. Someone's moving quickly. If this is not you, this is someone that you're dealing with. Um, this is If this is not even moving quickly, because I really don't see any movement here. I'm going to be real with you. But I do see enlightenment here. Um, so this is about the only movement card I see here is this on the top of this to clarify this four of cups. So someone could be, you know, moving in a new direction. Or I don't even think it's moving in a new direction. Just trying to move forward. Um, trying to manifest nurturing within a situation or trying to nurture something that they feel like they once missed so someone is trying to get back i believe someone's trying to get back that old feeling like they remember they're remembering what they lost if that makes sense i don't know but I definitely see someone trying to manifest something and maybe feeling like they're missing an opportunity or going to miss an opportunity. So there is a shift. There's a shift. <laughs> Let's see what messages we have. What messages do we have for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius? <clears throat> Sun, Moon, Rising. This is for November 22nd through the 23rd. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising. And Venus. November 23rd, November 22nd, so November 23rd, 2018, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Woo! See the other person's point of view. So you see someone else's point of view, and 
Mm. Some of you guys feel like you may have missed an opportunity. So now you're trying to focus on your strengths and bring healing or with crystals, you're trying to draw in energy from mother, sister, wife, daughter, some woman that's in your life. If not, this is someone that is focusing on their strengths and trying to draw you in. Because this, this is a male that is really trying to move forward trying to focus on what is the positives within the situation so someone is really seeing someone else's point of view becoming enlightened this is all i have y'all peace